Welcome back to Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. The Gophers are 1-0 in preparing to face the Aggies in New Mexico this weekend. For an inside look at the Gophers and for a preview of Saturday's game, Mike Max is in the Hall of Fame room with Coach Kill. Thanks very much. Before we look ahead to New Mexico State this week, Coach, one of the things that when you came here you said was paramount to building a program was what you did in the weight room in the offseason, and not just what you do, but that you have a plan that is consistent and you keep building. Did you see that this summer, and did you see it translating in camp and in the first game? Well, I don't think there's any question. Uh, you look at a young man, I guess Max Williams, who mm -hmm. scored a touchdown uh, when Max came in. Uh, a year ago, he was, uh, you know, 205, 210 pounds. Now he's 250, 255. So I guess that's the best short answer I could give. But there's no question the younger kids have grown and gotten bigger and stronger. But they're still young. And uh, but uh, our weight room guys have done a really good job, and and our strength staff. And and uh, that's if I based it, that's a perfect example of uh, of what yeah, you see and what you want yeah, to be. Yeah, what, what what you want to do in recruiting, and and you got to build them in a weight room. And and Max is a terrific player he had a great he had a great ball game yeah he's one of those guys you've talked about him since you recruited yeah. him really but when you saw him in high school he was just an athlete that you wanted yep. and I think your vision kind of was he'd be a tight end or maybe a defensive end he's converted at the tight end position and we all know his lineage with his, his uncle playing here and his father playing in the NFL and his mother a great volleyball player but it, you can kind of see that all coming together uh, in one package it, you, you certainly can and uh, you know he's uh, got great work ethic and and his family's just, they're just great people. And, and uh, you know, like I said, he, he was a quarterback in high school yep. because that the, that's where you put your best player a lot of times. And, uh, but uh, he, he, he didn't want, he doesn't want to grow into an offensive lineman. He told his dad that <laughs> he, he wants to stay that, tight huh? end. So he'll stay at 255. He's going to play tight end. We talked, to, <laughs> speaking of athletes that are quarterbacks in high school, some end up playing the position, some don't. We talked about Philip Nelson earlier. Mitch Leitner got some time. Not only did he perform pretty well, he scored a touchdown, but it looked like he's got the troops kind of rallied around him that he's kind of a tough kid out there. Oh yeah, kids, kids like Mitch, and he's, uh, you know, we'll we'll need him, you know, uh, for the years over in, in some way, shape, or form, and we want to keep Philip healthy. But uh, it was good to get him in, and it's and it's good how he played. You know, he loves running option, the zone read, and he's a physical kid, and and uh, you know he was on the work team a year ago, and he's just really developed, and uh, I think he's got special years ahead of him too. So I was excited about him getting in there and. And, and having success and then getting a touchdown, you know, was, you know, for a kid that works as hard as he has, it was exciting. New Mexico State, we turn our attention to. I saw some of the first half against Texas. They hung in there in the first half against Texas, then they got wore out in the second half. You know a little bit about them. They've been here once before. Uh, it looked to me like they've got some, some speed and some skill position guys. Well, they, they do, and, and uh, their head football coach, uh, I coached against, he was at Kent State when mm -hmm. I was at Northern. Uh, Doug was the offensive coordinator when they beat us here. Uh, at home, and uh, he's done a great job there. And, and uh, the defensive coordinator I've competed against, so I know a lot about what they what they do. And their kids are going to play hard. And uh, you know they really played toe to toe with Texas, you know, for a half. And and then you know, as you get sometimes physically, you know, Texas is a pretty gifted team. And yep. I think kind of wore them out a little bit in the the, the second half. But uh, they they play hard. Uh, they're athletic, and and I know they're well coached. I mean, you know, you can watch their film and. They're not going to be out of position. They're going to be where they need to be. Uh, they're going to try to control the football and keep you off the field. And uh, so uh, it'll be, a, you know, and then we got to go on the road. And uh, I've always said I want to play at home. I'm the guy that's been fighting. I want those home games. So, but uh, <laughs> they're a lot, lot, lot easier to play at home. So we got to get on that flight. And it's just different, you know, when you go on the road and night game. And, and night games. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to be ready to play. And they beat our butt, you know, the last time we played them. So we need to, our kids should have a good, good remembrance of that and, and uh, be motivated to play. Thanks very much, Coach. Thank you. The Gophers in New Mexico State Saturday night, a night kickoff. We'll review it, of course, next week on the Jerry Kill Show. That will do it for this week's edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Be sure to check out gophersports.com for updates all week on the Golden Gophers. For Mike Max and Jerry Kill, I'm Natalie Nias. Thanks for joining us right here on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill.